Hola, me llamo Carlos y soy español. I know you guys prefer bars and restaurants to schools and universities. That's why I'm here today. That's why you clicked on this video. And that's why I'm making this video for you. I want to help you with the basic vocabulary that might help you survive in bars or restaurants in a Spanish-speaking country. So let's see this basic um, vocabulary organized in different categories. We're going to talk about people, personas. We're going to talk about different areas of the restaurant or the bar, zonas, zones. We're going to talk about drinks, bebidas. And we're going to talk about platos, dishes. Okay? So let's start with people, personas. Las personas del bar. Las personas del restaurante. The people at the bar or the people at the restaurant. There might be some different kinds of people in, in a bar, but mostly two words are the most important ones, and those are waitress or waiter, uh, barman or bar woman, and it's the same word in Spanish for all of them. In masculine is camarero, camarero, el camarero. Feminine is camarera, la camarera. Camarero, camarera. And in the kitchen, we have the cook. If it's a man, if it's masculine, then it is cocinero, el cocinero. If it's a woman, feminine, it's la cocinera, la cocinera. Okay? Some other people usually take French nouns. You know, the maître or the maître in, in Spanish, with, with the Spanish accent, with the Spanish pronunciation, maître. Or the chef, chef in Spanish, chef. Or the assistant of the chef, of the chef is the uh, pinche, pinche, pinche de cocina. Okay? The kitchen assistant. Okay, now, the different areas in a bar or in the restaurant, zonas, different zones, the bar, la barra, okay, the bar where you can stand to have some drinks, la barra, feminine, the, um, the lounge is el salón or the dining room, the dining room, El salón or el comedor, the place where you sit and eat. El comedor, from the verb comer, to eat. Okay? El comedor. The place where you sit outside the bar, okay, outside the bar, la terraza, the terrace, la terraza, feminine. And obviously you sit at a table. You sit en la mesa. Te sientas en la mesa. Okay, so let's repeat these few words. La barra, the bar. The dining room is el salón or el comedor. The terrace is la terraza. And the table is la mesa. In Spain, north and south, winter and summer, at any time, there are many terraces in, in the bars, in the restaurants, okay? Tables outside the bar. If it's winter, if it's cold, they usually have some heating. And if it's in the, in the summer, they usually have, uh, these spraying, water spraying, uh, things, you know, to, to, to keep you uh, cold, to keep you uh, fresh. Uh, now let's go for beverage, okay, or uh, drinks. Bebidas, bebidas, drinks, okay. 
The verb is beber, to drink. Beber, okay? Bebidas, drinks. Now, the first drink in Spain is beer. Cerveza, la cerveza, okay? In some places, in the south of Spain, for example, it can be pronounced with S instead of C, right? Cerveza instead of cerveza, like, like in Latin America, okay? La cerveza. Wine. There are many types of wine, of course, but the main two types are white wine, vino blanco, vino blanco, or red wine, vino tinto, vino tinto, okay? Now, in the summer, we have a beverage which is called tinto de verano, summer red wine, tinto de verano, okay? Summer red wine. It is a cold drink, you know, with ice cubes, uh, uh, with red wine and uh, white or lemon soda, okay? Very good in, in summer when, when it's hot. Uh, then we have sangria. Sangria is very similar to tinto de verano, but uh, it, it, it is a mixture of tinto de verano and some pieces of fruit, different fruit, okay? Peaches, etc. So that's called sangria, la sangria, okay? Now, if you are non-alcoholic, then for non-alcoholic beverage, we have the word refrescos, okay? El refresco, los refrescos, okay? Soft drinks, okay? Now, soft drinks can be, there are many types, of course, but the, the most uh, frequent ones are refresco de naranja, refresco de limón, orange, Lemon, refresco de naranja, refresco de limón, orange and lemon. And then we have refresco de cola, like Coca-Cola, in Spanish Coca-Cola, or Pepsi or whatever uh, brand. And then you might have an infusion, or for example, té, tea, okay? Tea is té. Uh, coffee, café, okay? Coffee, café. Café, té. All right. And now, dishes. We're not going to go through all the possible dishes that you might find in Spain or in Latin America, obviously, because there are many, many types. But we'll um uh, have a look at the words that you can find in the menu. The menu, the menu is called la carta in Spanish, okay? La carta is the menu you find in the restaurant where you can have a look at the different dishes that you that they have, okay? La carta. In la carta there are different platos, plates, dishes, okay? Sometimes there are small dishes, small dishes, it is very common in Spain, called tapas, la tapa, small snacks, okay, small snacks, la tapa. In some regions, in the south of Spain particularly, not all the south, but in some provinces of Spain, of, of, the, south of, of the south of Spain, they will give you tapas, small snacks, for free. Yes, for free. They usually give you smaller drinks and they give you uh, a snack, okay? A snack. If the snack is bigger, then it's called, it's like a dish, like a normal dish, then it's called ración, la ración. Mind that it's feminine, okay? Feminine, la ración. Then you can start with the appetizers, two different words in Spanish for appetizer, 
aperitivo, masculine, el aperitivo, or entrante, entrante, ¿ok? Aperitivo or entrante. Maybe aperitivo is more frequently used. Then we have the first course, primer plato, el primer plato. The second course, el segundo plato, the second course, el segundo plato, and we end up with the desert, el postre, el postre, okay, the desert. When, when you finish eating, then you ask for the bill. The bill is la cuenta, okay? La cuenta. All right? So this is basic vocabulary that will help you survive in Spanish bars or restaurants. I know you'll enjoy them. Adios.